I'm Tamara Lackey. Stepping through the most important facets of children's portraiture. We're gonna talk about seeing the beauty in children. Not just looking at your subjects, but seeing who they really are and making sure that you have all the tools you need to capture that. I find a very strong value in the idea of getting lost in your work. I love to play with the kids. In the studio, we use a variety of backdrops. So we have the black, the blue, the white, and the gray. Of course, you can swap others in as you want. Yeah, when I'm shooting uh, multiple children and I'm trying to isolate a kid, <laughs> and the other ones want to be in the show too, so what you do is uh, make them part of the process. Sit right here and say, here, you can do it! Come here, help me get this shot. Hold my camera, set this angle, tell me what pose do you think works best. I do that sort of thing a lot. Like, let's engage them in the shoot so we're working together, so that when I do want to turn the camera and photograph them, they're still with me. Your job is to work with everyday children, every one of which are beautiful, but go ahead and find their unique beauty and pull that out. And that means getting to whatever angle you need to get to and interacting with them whatever way you need to do that. And really having a genuine connection so you can see the beauty in them and then bring forth the technical skills you have to capture it. The only way families can preserve the memories of their children at certain stages of life is with photography. We're also gonna discuss the importance of balancing the joy of creative success with the solid grounding of business success. How do you decide who to bring on and what you need help with? When you're framing your subject, the viewer's eye will go to the point of greatest contrast. There's a lot to consider when framing an image in terms of composition. There's three levels, there's a symmetry to such a clean image. The eyes are at the top third of the image, the lips are in the middle image, and that little thumb sticking up is at the bottom third of the image. Okay, let's get started. Hi guys! <laughs>